Welcome back, Hoopty Army. Today is a rain day. Yay! Hey everybody, Big Mike back out here in the Hoopty Barn. Finally, got us a good rain day and uh, we're finally, finally going to get back on the old 51 here. Yes, sir. Whew, I tell you, it's been, it's been tough to get some time. You know, whenever you work on the farm and all that stuff, you got so much stuff to do. And uh, we're getting ready for the No Name Nationals. Man, we are so close to that 500, I can ace it. Anyhow, um... Tomorrow night, we're going to be on live with John Wilburn, and uh, hopefully that's going to be over the top. And uh, if that's the case, then Friday night, um, I'm going to conduct my 500 subscriber giveaway contest. And uh, you're not going to want to miss that one because that's going to be awesome. You know, the winner is going to get... My very first t-shirt, very first sticker, and they're going to get to name the old Coronet here. So, you know, you guys are going to want to stick with me for all this business. So, when we left off on here, as far as I could remember, last thing I did was I took these uh, torsion bars out. I took them all the way out. <clears throat> and I racked this suspension as far as I could and I shoved them suckers back in there so that ought to make her give her a little bit of business like that so I guess we're going to see about that once I get some wheels and tires put on here so went up to my tire guy Roger's Tire and Gateway, Arkansas. Good dude. He got me squared away. And, uh, <laughs> well, in true hoopty fashion, we got some tires for the front of the hoopty. Yes, sir, these are 14 inch trailer tires. One of them is a 215 75 15, and one of them is a Let's see, what are you? A 205 75 14. Close enough, right? It's just a hoopty. So, anyway, we're going to have to get them dudes mounted on some wheels and uh, get to where we can, you know, get the car back on the ground. And uh, those ought to at least get us up the road to where we need to go. And I was thinking about when I initially took the rear end that's in here. Mm -hmm. That actually came out of the Green Goblin. Right? Because I put the eight and three quarter underneath the Green Goblin out of my donor car. And I remember when I took this thing out of the Green Goblin, I broke her open and all that, checked it all out, see what kind of shape the teeth were in and all that stuff. Well, then I recall when I found out I had that eight and three quarter, I was like, well, I'm just going to slap the back end on this thing and put it in there. So, you know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have any fluid in that rear end, so that's not going to be good. And also don't have that. Well, it's got the old one. So what we're going to do, we're going to crawl under here. We're going to take that pumpkin cover off of there. We're going to put that dude on there. And um, then we'll see where we go from there. So stick with me. We'll be back. Who else loves crawling underneath these things and working like this? Anyway... Um, 
It seems to be all good. I remember when I opened it up last time, it was all pretty well good shape. All the teeth are in good shape, all that fun stuff. And uh, so, in case you're wondering what the uh, gear ratio is, Ooh, sorry about that. Pulled the, the little tag off of there. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Little 271. So I reckon that's what it is. So I want to get this dude all cleaned off and I'll get my gasket and cover and all that stuff ready to go. We'll put her back together and move along. Okay, so we got that all buttoned back up. And now, working on this. I gotta get all this crap off of here. What in the world? So I've already been cleaning on that one. What do you think that business is about? A couple of pieces of scrap I found out back in one of my scrap piles. And, uh, well, we get it cleaned up. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Old fat man under a hoopty. All right. You ready to see what we're doing with that old chunk of metal? Yes, sir. We have a drive shaft loop. How about that business? Huh? Yes, sir. Roger, Roger, we have clearance. Clarence, what's your vector, Victor? <laughs> All right, let me crawl out of here. All right. You know, I figure... We probably ought to have one of those with that old hoopty drive line. This here's how she's held in on the top. Yes, sir. That is a chainsaw bar. Or I'll screw something in here and here. We'll get her secured down. But uh that's probably gonna be about it for the day. So anywho, we're making progress on the old hoopty and uh Tomorrow night, gonna be live with John Wilburn. We'll try and get those last few subscribers to get over 500. So, uh, punch our ticket to the No Name Nationals. Need you to be part of it, man. And, uh, if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and just do that. It's free, it don't cost you nothing. And hit that little notification bell so you can see whenever I get a new video out. Like the videos, or don't like the videos, or, you know, whatever. Tell your friends this guy's an idiot. Um, so we're going to have a little contest after I get over my 500. Uh, if we get over that tomorrow night on Thursday night, then Friday night I'm going to have a contest. I'm going to do a live, and I'm going to tell you guys the rules of the contest, and the winner is going to get my very first T-shirt, my very first sticker, and they're going to get the name, the old coronet. So... You guys know the drill, man. Like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And until next time, you keep watching. I'm going to keep working.